Welcome back everybody, I am C-Money. I'm a Grandmaster level Risk Global Domination player and today we are back at it again with some Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals, the meta settings that everybody seems uh, to love. Certainly knows, maybe maybe uh, you do or do not love them. Uh, we're playing out of the fifth position as green and my gosh, I have some pretty doggy doo-doo capital spots for sure. Um, not great, <laughs> not great capital spots whatsoever. Uh, blue capping down here on GGL basically uh, ensures us that, that this Italy cap is going to be useless for me. Uh, no middle of the board presence. Um, no real external presence that locks anything down. We might get somebody on a Gascony cap. This Netherlands cap in the late game wouldn't be terrible, but not very good right now. I'm going to wait to see where orange goes. I might meme. We might meme here and pick the uh, pick the Sevastopol cap for fun. Uh, that might be what I do. Complete memory might be upon us. And actually, pink and blue have created a two-point cap hold in the bottom left over West Africa. So, oh, because I want to be up here, right? I want to be up here, but he's going to roll my cap off the start if I cap on one of these two spots. I could cap in the bottom right. I don't really want to do that, though. All right, we're going to go full meme mode, everybody. We're going to go meme. We're going to meme. We're going to no Sevastopol, no win. Um, I don't know where my bonus is going to be, but... I don't know, maybe middle of the board. It's very possible that white is capped. White, well, yeah, white might be kept hungry because I don't know why pink would be kind of turned away from from this capital here on Romania. By the way, if you can't tell, Fergus is here. Face down, booty up. <laughs> That's the way Fergus likes to risk. Um, interesting. So blue just attacks down. It plays conservatively here. I was expecting more of an aggressive start from the blue player. We do have white going bottom right with some of his material. It's going to hit blue. There might be... Red might have like full ownership over the top left on this board. White committing material down here. We know, if, we know pink is here. Blue's here. Orange over here. I wonder if, the, if red was the Gascony cap uh, player. Hmm. Pink drops eight troops here. So Pink's going to take this bonus, or at least try to. Or does he go left? No, he goes left. He goes into this bonus. Um, I think he's going to have a hard time holding that, quite frankly. Leaves a troop behind. Loses one there. He can split fortify twos across the board here. I don't know why anybody would let him hold this. Now I kind of wish I capped down here, because this... I mean, he didn't put anything on capital. Blue might just take that on the next turn. Hmm. Interesting. Orange commits nothing to capital? Question mark? This one comes in, I assume, to capital? No. Nothing on cap. 13 on 5 is possible. Um, hmm. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to roll some of these down, see what I can get. There we go. I'll pull this out of White's territory just to try to hold on to it. Um, I could have rolled the cap. I don't think rolling the cap is the right choice. He actually doesn't even know my cap's here. Maybe that's why he was being so so passive. I can use that to my advantage, right? If he doesn't have the bonus up here in the top right, I can use the fact that he doesn't know my cap is here to my advantage to potentially gain a large capital and then yoink his. He doesn't realize he's in danger, right? He has every square covered. 
from a visibility standpoint that's near him except for Sevastopol. Blue's going to take me out of, bottom, uh, out of the bottom left here. Uh, the pink's going to lose. Their, I actually don't know how pink hasn't been broken yet, but pink's going to lose that cap almost certainly unless he starts uh, protecting it. Blue is going pretty aggressive here. It does... Oh, that delayed a little bit, but he's going to get seven back to cap. That is holding that bonus down there. And the only way that's going to get broken... Blue, I mean, blue's off to a great start. Uh, just simple as that. Um, the only way that gets broken is if the pink player commits everything from the center here onto capital and goes to the left. Uh, which I don't know that I see that happening. Now, you can, you can break blue without opening the cap by hitting Sahara. I've got this two that I could potentially come up off uh, come off of if pink does in fact abandon troops here. White is hitting elsewhere, probably taking this bonus. This is the other thing that I don't know how long white will play good neighbor with with orange for. So pink he's holding the center. He's, I think, either expecting me or Orange to not break him. Does he dump it all here? He does. He's going to go to the left. You got your one opportunity to break this guy. He goes up. I don't think up was the play. He's going to try to take a bonus right in White's mouth. Hmm... Oh my god, he took White's cap. He took White's cap. That's why the Fortify came down from here. Or he failed the roll. I can't take this on this turn, but this all but ensures that Blue has this capital. Um, pink is essentially dead. Okay, so Orange does have troops on... Oh, Orange, Orange is getting... Orange must have captured Scandinavia. Interesting. How? Does anything come back to the cap here? Doesn't. Hmm. I mean, now, I think this is potentially a 100% roll. I, I, I wait one more turn. I'm going to hit orange over here. Or not. Oh, please tell me I don't have to come off capital. We're going to... Oh, I don't know. Why am I blitzing this? Oh, Lord help us. All right, I guess we're taking Orange's cap because I didn't want him to know that I was here. Uh, but now he's going to, so. We'll take his cap. I was really trying to win one of those rolls elsewhere. <laughs> and hopefully this means Red's going into whatever Orange captured already. Not what I intended, but we got a really good roll. Was that even f or a positive roll? That's in, that's just crazy. Blue's getting 13. Uh, he would be absolutely foolish not to just take Pink's cap out right here, and that's exactly what he's going to do. Um, and one more roll. Yeah, there goes Pink's cap. Now, Pink will hold one, if not two, bonuses here if Blue doesn't... Yeah, Blue didn't break here. White's getting 11. So white also did not get broken. Pink could honestly die on this turn. Because I guarantee you white just tried to go look at the cap. Didn't find anything. Pink holds this bonus. So he's, he actually is holding this bonus still. Nobody breaks. And we took orange's cap. Orange is not going to be happy. Orange I know is holding bonuses. Um, I hope red hits him. Pink probably bots here. That'll just spread out across the middle. So I think I have to take the bonus behind myself. No, he's playing. Um, is he going to try to dice roll that blue cap? Comes up this way. Hits white out of the center. You know, he's just going to play with a big, uh, well, seemingly somewhat large stack in the middle. I mean, I respect trying to keep himself alive. Orange is getting eight. So he's getting plus five. Is he just entirely up in noob corner? Is he going to try to blitz? This is uh, dangerous here. 
Right, I'm not just going to let him sit there. Go five here. Rest on capital. Nice. Oh, he's not there. Okay. So he's in Iceland and Scandinavia, I guess? The six doesn't have pathing back to the three, so I'm not going to try to defend Sevastopol very strong. Red is getting seven. So maybe red has ice. I don't really know what's happening here. Red hits me. Red might be in this pocket here. Why are you hitting me? Yeah, red must be up there. There's no other reason to move that material out. I like orange's cap a lot better than mine, for sure. I mean, my cap is a two-point guard block, so it's a good thing I upgraded. And hopefully we'll get lucky enough for one of these other players to to take orange out of the top left here, or, to, or top of the map. Assuming that's where he is. He also, I mean, he could be over here in Spain. Which is weird that he wouldn't just commit to the hold on Russia. Oh boy, how many attacks is this going to be? We're going to see one, at least one. Does he attack again? We're going to see fist bumps from, from white almost certainly here. No, he stops. All right, he leaves white alone. He's just going to hold the triple, not triple, double bonus in the bottom of the map. And now white's turn comes plus 13. He could knock a lot of pink out of here. So both pink and orange are capless. Trying to get these players out of the game is uh, paramount to our success because uh, orange obviously is not happy with us. Um, and speaking of, of the players in the game, uh, the blue players, General Anne from France, they're in the first position. The white player, Prescott Howe from Canada, is in the second position. Has not drafted any troops yet. This, oh no, he's drafting now. Okay. Uh, the pink player, General Sawaya from Chile, is in the third position. The orange player, Renegade uh, NL, not surprisingly from the Netherlands, is in the fourth position. I'm C-Money, Grandmaster level player from the United States in the 5th position. Finally, the red player, General the Geek from Spain, is in the 6th and final position. Our settings are the meta settings. So, progressive capitals, uh, no rank restrictions, balanced blitz, dice, uh, balanced blitz dice on the Europe advanced map. Uh, fog and blizzards on, portals and alliances are off with automated inactivity behavior, just how we like it. And I would not be surprised to see Orange place some more troops on us up here. The issue with Orange is that they still are holding a bonus. Nobody's knocked them out of it. They're probably playing from Spain right now. So I think at this point, just removing what is viewing me is probably important. But he's going to yeah, he's gonna come at me again with another stack. He sees that I haven't put a whole lot on this. He also finds it, right? So now he knows he can take it. Um... Which means we're going to go this and then this. And I'm just going to say sayonara. To this. Why would I let you threaten me? I don't get anything out of letting you threaten me like that. Red's up to eight. So held these territories. Iceland plus enough around the map, I think. Just don't want to get weak enough where white feels comfortable in taking my capital. Blue's getting 19 now. If blue really wanted to, it could completely wipe purple off or pink off the board. I would like to see blue be a little bit aggressive, but not aggressive into white. I want him to s remove the players who are not, who, who only exist to be a nuisance. Orange is going to keep trying to come back for this capital, which is just not, it's not a good play at this point. You should just strengthen your own position. And he should see that I'm willing to whack the stuff that he's leaving on me. So just back off. Like, I haven't been able to take a bonus because this player is just committing his troops into me. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised to see Orange trade in first just to try to take uh, a capital from out from under me. Blue does break white. That That's a travesty. Um... I think white was banking on him being a, a, a homie, but it, it doesn't really make much sense for blue not to just blast white trades in. Ooh, don't like the trade in. I think that's a really bad play. You're not going to break through blue's offense here. 
Uh, so unless you're going to kill pink, the trade-in doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So we'll keep an eye on the on the goings on here. We've been stunted a little bit by losing all of those rolls early on, which admittedly I meant to dice roll, but I did not have the luxury uh, of doing. Um, so I don't know that White has even won an attack here. He's just sitting with that. I think he's single dice rolling or, or triple dice rolling, trying to roll a cap and uh, probably has everything off his cap, which actually might leave the door open for Pink to yoink his cap back. Uh, which is not great. White might have just signed his own death wish here. And not, the, the problem is now this is bad, right? These players both trading in early. Pink trades in to survive. I understand that play. Uh, although he aggressed White early on for no good reason. So just right off rip, the, the blue player uh, protected capital turn one, took bonus turn two, took capital th turn three. Blue, I think, at least an expert level player. The white player, no more than intermediate. Pink, I think, is a beginner. Uh, orange, didn't protect capital, took a bonus completely on the other side of the map. Uh, maybe intermediate, just because of what he's trying to do. Interesting, pink is lurking around in here. Just, uh, I didn't expect that by any means. Does orange trade in and try to yoink a cap? I have a trade in in response. Everybody except blue is traded in so far. So blue's in a great position. Orange actually doesn't leave anything on me up here. Interesting. Doesn't leave anything on me. I think I just we'll go one here. Um, I don't think white's going to be much of a threat here. Just trying to get some vision. He's left a two here. I'm going to hit this and then stop. Just want to be able to have enough protection on these. But I wanted him, you know, account for what the attack he made, account for the attack he made, and then take one more. Well, I guess take three more, right? So you take one for the attack and then three more. Does he, does red break pink here? That could be interesting. Or does he hit me? No, he breaks pink. Delightful. So that's going to effectively feed pink. Oh, it goes down this way. So red's gaining some vision. Red's up to 11 per turn. So I, as far as I can tell, I think orange is down here in the bottom left. Not bottom left, but Spain. Um, blue has been broken in, uh, in North Africa, but has not lost either capital and trades in. So orange will trade in before me. Can Could very easily take this capital if he wants to. I maybe should have completely removed him over here, but honestly, I get a trade in immediately after. I think I'd rather just respond to that. Let him take the crappy capital, or let him try for the strong capital. Um, either or is fine. I can just respond to hit, uh, respond to his play and, and likely get him out of there. I think white might be dying here. We'll see what white's on, because we might even have the opportunity to kill white, especially if white... Yeah, he's lost his capital, so... Uh, red's 11 per turn. I don't think anybody, uh, see the problem is, is how much of Scandinavia has red taken, right? So if he's 11 per turn, he's getting Iceland and probably British empire plus additional territories. Maybe he just doesn't have this full bonus up here, but it might mean white exists up there. Granted, I don't want to get two cards off of white, so I might wait a turn. I'd rather get three. Like if white doesn't attack here. I'd rather guarantee myself the three cards, although blue could potentially kill him uh, on this next turn. Blue's going to be getting a lot of troops on this next turn, given that white did just lose that capital. Although, did pink? Pink might have actually taken white's capital. Here's why I think pink might have taken white's cap, is because blue the, the, the leader only has two caps. So me and blue, we know me and blue both have two caps. White does, in fact, bot out. Is pink getting five a turn here? Pink is. Pink took white's cap. Wow. That can change things if he lives. I'm surprised blue didn't just scoop that out from underneath him. All right. So now orange probably still working with some sort of vendetta. 
against me because I took his capital. Um, we're going to be getting 12 plus at least five for a cap. Assuming he, you know, I don't, I don't think I would want the Sebastopol cap. I mean, from a safety perspective, maybe you want it. But he's going to trade in here with 10. So he's going to have 18, up to 20 troops here off of this too if he wants it. No. Oh, he was he was lurking back there. Oh my god, he lost. He put all... He was hiding back here. Uh, that's pretty much his game. I would have to knock him out of the left side here. He must have been stacking up troops over here. Unless he's not in Spain. I could have sworn he would have been in Spain. Wins that. Of course he wins that. All right. Well, uh, rolls a, a 23 on 14 and loses all 23. Doesn't take the capital. So, nine here. The rest up here. Got a three over there. Is this where he's been sitting the whole time? Come on, give it to me. Yes! Oh, red's there. Alright, well. Um... So he obviously still has the three here. If he trades in, he, he can live, but... This begs the question, uh, the rest of white must be down here. That is a little bit concerning. Hoping red just leaves me alone. Not, I'm not a fan of that. I haven't done anything to red all game. I'm not sure why he would be aggressing me. I, I don't... I mean, maybe he thought I had this bonus. I, I don't really understand why red's playing the way that they are. All right, so blue, if he's smart, gets the kill on white here. Fortifies up. So he, he's doing weird splits. I don't think red's very good. He just likes bonuses. He likes being threatening, I guess. Now, if orange has a set here, he can get up to 20, 25 troops here. Even more so. Pray and orange doesn't have a set on three. That's the issue with not sending enough over here to remove his three. But maybe blue will remove it after killing white. Um, oh no, blue is just taking the pink capital. Okay. He might kill white too, but if pink doesn't have a set, even if orange does some, some, uh, tomfoolery to me here, yeah, this is going to be the concern though, is, is orange going to have enough troops to potentially kill white? That is my concern because that could totally change the flow of this game. And, and I'm going to really regret leaving this three here. He, I mean, I don't know how much he's got stacked up over here. I'm not sure why red hasn't gone into Spain at all. But pink has lost his cap. White was down in here. Oh, okay. Is That, that must be the end of, of white. Is pink going to be smart enough to try to go for this white kill? Because he could, and he would set in off of it. Otherwise, we got to pray that orange doesn't have a set on four. Oh, is he... I think he is going to be smart enough to go for it. Attacks down. One. Keep going. Does he have it? I think he's got it. No, he stops. Why would you stop? Orange is getting seven. Don't, no set on three. No set on three. Please. Please no set on three. Just puts a one over here. It's coming up to me, though. Yeah, I don't know what the goal of that was. Just tell Red where you are. All right. Do we bank on this being the end of white? I think I got to try. I can't kill pink. I don't think. Let's go in off of this. That was not the end of white. Unfortunate. 
very unfortunate that that was not the end of White. There's still some white over here. Yeah, go break orange, bro. That might be fun. He's going to break me here. No, he goes to the left. Okay. He's going to he's going to roll the only one. What a what a ghoul. Guy's got no respect. Blue's caps are not very strong. The problem is is that blue's going to get the white kill here. And if he misses it, Orange probably gets the white kill. 23 a turn. How is White alive? Because that implies he took this bonus here. I've got a 7-4. I've got to use it. What's 10 here? Blue's game is like lagging or something. It only lags on his turns. Um, I don't know where... Unless Red's been like stowing it up here, but... Well played. Well played. It, it, he must have just had one territory over here that he didn't take, but I think he got... I don't know. He, wasn't, he did, must not have had all of Orient. Well played. He should kill Pink here. If Pink doesn't set in, he's attacking off all of his capitals, which is actually really bad for him. Um, That's not good play. Does pink set here? Pink could kill... Well, pink could fail a kill on orange, actually. And orange very well might still be going for this capital. I don't think he'll have enough troops, even with the trade-ins. 30 trade. Oh, is pink going to go into me here? Is he going to be mad that I broke him? Or is he just going to sit tight with that? It was not personal. Yeah, stay left. Stay left. Okay, good. Now, if he could go into and fail a kill on orange... No, he's going to try to take Italy here. This player is still, at this point in the game, playing for bonuses. I have no idea why. Now, if orange doesn't have a set on four, we go for a kill on orange. I think it's uh, almost guaranteed he'll have a set on four. He'll probably even use it to go into me. He doesn't know how much I have on capital, so I don't know why he would do that. Um, this player is good enough to, to trade in instantly, I think, if they had it. Um... Or maybe he's thinking about it. I, I will be going for a kill on him if he does not trade in. 100% uh, chance I try to do that. I mean, he just reacted to whatever happened before White died. Is he not going to set? He got to set. He doesn't set. He's going to open me up? Oh my god. Why would you do that? You're just going to die now. I'm just going to kill you. He have Dino Rides goes to the left, right? Well, I'd rather work off this so I don't break pink, right? I don't want to piss pink off. I'll take the extra... Or Kiev? Yeah, I'll take the extra troops on Dino Rides, but I'm not going to really use them. Um, Alright. Belarus. Um, well, sure. Guess I am pulling this back. All right, orange is gone. Disposed of. Red trades. I feel like Red's mad at me for some reason. I'm just going to... Okay, leave, leave a 15 there. That's fine. He's going to try to break me again. Why? Hmm. This guy's not holding anything on capital, though. Blue is getting 20-something per turn, and you're upset about the guy getting 16. You're getting 15 yourself. I, I don't... I don't get players like this. I'm on four. I've got a set. Kharkiv is... Oh, my capital, actually. That's delightful. But, like, this guy's putting 11 here. He's just going to break me, and I don't get it. I don't... Just take your bonus. You want the split bonus? Take your split bonus. 
Why, man? I, 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 what did I do to you? I, I literally, why are you doing this? I, I, it just doesn't make any sense. I'm just going to target you. What's the point of breaking me there? 30 a turn? This guy's getting in. You're breaking me. All right. The benefit here is that pink is capless. About 30, 40 total. Tri oh, he's just going to kill pink, isn't he? Yeah, he's just going to kill pink. He doesn't set off it, though. So if he's too slow... I mean, he dumped all of that up here. My 19's locked. 73 troops. Holy cow. Yeah, bye. GG. Pink is dead. Bonk. Bonk. There it is. Yeah, Blue's game. I don't know. Every association with Blue is lagging. Yeah, this guy probably wins. Does that go back to cap? He's just going to set in on the next turn. Uh... Ah, screw it. I'm not going to win, so... Oh, I mean, I could I could win. The blue player is very slow and, and not very aggressive. Uh, that opens my cap up. Um, if he, he's not going to break me in the British Isles. If, if blue sees how much red's getting and goes for a kill on red on this next turn, I mean, he's going to set in, right? In the massive set, maybe even take my cap. Why, why are you holding that there? What on earth is that play? Absolute garbage. He had... He was just hiding a bunch on Finland for no reason. Is he just going to hit red here? I'm going to take Spain as well. He's slow slash laggy. So he's not going to break me at all up here. I think I just take the cap and I let red do some BS. With whatever these stacks are. I mean, blue could very well be on a set, but... I have a set. Alright, that's delightful. That actually gives me... He's got a set on three. Oh, he's going to come down this way. All right, so he'll fail this roll on my cap and lose both of us the game. Because he aggressed me first. Yeah, keep going this way. No, he's going to split. He's going to he's going to roll the cap, which is just a, un, insanely stupid. Just so dumb. He's going to roll this one too. He's going to throw his game. It, it's like Oh, actually no, he's going to feed himself. That could be good. Problem is, is that Blue's going to notice this cap. Of course this guy had a set on three, by the way. I actually could have won this game if he didn't have a set on three. Uh, Blue's going to get about 40 troops on this next turn. I actually hope that Red open. Yeah, hit me once more. Show Blue where you are. Perfect. Because now Blue will attempt to kill on you. He's only hitting me, too. This guy who broke me first. Unbelievable. Well, I'll ensure you second place, sir. Congratulations. We have to find a way to break blue in as many spots as we can. He won't be able to cap run here. Does he hit me first? He hits me first. That I don't not jazzed by that. Completely off cap. Yeah, so he's gonna take my cap here. Loses 29. Holy cow, that's actually huge. That does stunt my pathing on killing red, but uh I'm going to kill red. 
I did a big old chunker out here, didn't he? Um, left a little bit to the right. Alright, we'll just come off this cap. I'm just gonna kill this guy because I can't stand him. Do I just full loop around? I think that's what I do. Yeah, 22 there. Terrible capitals. Get an extra one extra card off. He's just gonna set in here. He's still getting thirty one a turn. I unfortunately him rolling this. I mean, red literally suiciding his game into me is tough. And this guy's game just glitches. At least he's going this way. I might have a chance if he like tries to dip in and take as much of this territory as, as possible. Like, how, I don't get how that works. How does it split up that way? Like, I mean, if he's just laggy, that's fine. I get it. But and he didn't set in there, which is not good. I'm probably just going to lose my caps. He doesn't remove anything middle of the board. He stops. Why would you give me that much leeway? It's fortifying off a cap. I mean, he doesn't know where my other cap is. You just pull all of that off this cap. Might as well check. Yep. Might as well try. Yeah, there we go. Because now he has to focus his energy on multiple capitals. Do I have a set on three? I have a set on three. Oh my gosh. If I could somehow turn this game around, everybody, that would be insane. I'm going to be left on one really bad cap here, though, pretty soon. Hey, that's... Yeah, I don't... I don't know if he knows this is here. Loses 34. That's got 11 on it. All right. I think getting this cap is important, though. Only loses 20 up there. I split off of it immediately. Wow. Whatever cap I end up getting, I need to defend like crazy. Doesn't take the bonus up there. I need him to, like, lock his big stacks. He's very slow. If I somehow turn this around, man, that would be absolutely insane. He manages to break a bunch with his lag. Doesn't get Italy, and we ha still have a bunch of troops left. He still doesn't know where the 10 is, so... Uh, let's just take Orient. Let's go... Oh, he didn't leave anything on this cap up here either, so we might as well go take that. Let's leave 35, sure, and then the rest here. 21. Well, tried. Take Orient. Nice. All right. Just need to bank off him being slow enough and somehow not having sets anytime soon. He's gonna want 15. I got how much? I traded in, obviously. I got 18. Not terrible. Oh, he had a set. He had a set on three. All right, well, we play from this position with uh, 
Whatever we got left, everybody. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have... Well, I wouldn't have mattered if I opened him down here. Ellie, look at how silly this is. He probably wins here. Because it just lags him forward. Suddenly he's over here now. About to roll my capital. Maybe he'll get the world's worst roll on this. 63! Oh my god, he actually got like the world's worst roll on that. Where does the 90 go? To this cap. Okay. Um, well... I might as well take as much as I can in the center of the board. I don't want to open that up. So we'll do this. Put these troops where he doesn't know they are. Because he doesn't have a set now. I don't want to worry about that. Uh, I do want to defend my caps still. I might as well just take more. I'm, I'm going to waste his time down here. That's my goal down there. Uh, waste his time. Okay. I did just open that up there, but come on. There we go. I don't mind giving... I'm just trying to bank off the fact that he's kind of slow. That didn't work. Um, pull this three back up to cap. I don't want to show him where the other capital is, because I don't think he knows. And if he can just keep playing off this big cap and playing slowly... I got how much on that last turn? 38. Right, he's leaving. It appears he's leaving me down here. I somehow got 38 on that last turn. So I have the opportunity to set in before him. Now, if this stack stays completely external, the 109, I can sneak back in here potentially. But look, he's focused. This was the whole goal is to have him focus down here so he doesn't break as much up top. And he completely focused on that. Used over as half of his turn to do it. Comes off. He's moving faster now. I'll give him that credit. He's moving much faster. He's going to get some of these bonuses, but not all of them. Yeah, he can do a little triangle here, which is unfortunate. Oh, don't try to take this whole thing. He stops. Does that go back to cap? No, he's going to sit it there. Interesting. All right. Um, well, I guess I just, I'm just going to take the card here then. Again, this is the cap that he knows about. He's not open on the back door there. I could blast this if I really wanted to. I don't want to do that. He's not going to have a set right now. We're just going to, I mean, we're getting more than him on this turn, right? 33 at least. We'll get more than him for one turn. Oh, I can't fortify that there. Right, we're going to fortify this up here. I don't want to fortify that to my cap because he's, again, not fully convinced he knows that's there. No set on three. That's tough. That's not good. Because he could theoretically card block me here if he's, if he's smart. Okay, he breaks off cap. Breaks off this cap too. But if he doesn't set up any sort of block, I mean, that's not enough to block. I've got two caps still. I can break through a four. He's going to come up to the cap now. Failing a cap roll here would be critical. If he tries to roll my cap and fails, that would be really bad for him. Come on, fail. Oh, he failed! That's huge! Oh, it's massive! The deficit is closing! Do I risk opening his cap up? Does that... Oh, he can't fortify the 27 out either. He's going to have to fortify off the 50-something down here. And if he's not fast enough, that cap's free. I think he ran out of time. All right. Uh, he might have a set on three. I think I just got to take the risk. Oh, worth a shot. I'm just going to take this cause, again to just tire him out. He didn't get over here. Um, 
If he's got a set on three, he's got a set on three. It is what it is. Is that a set? I don't think I have a set on four either, do I? I do. I have a set on four. Okay. He's got the set on three. All right. We just got to hope he can't find the 25 here. Or locks himself off. As long as this commits to what's up there. Loses 27. All right. Still troop loss. As long as the 73 goes top left, I will be fine. I can actually maybe win this. He would have to double tap this cap. Once it's up there. All right, we're safe. We are safe. He'll take this. I don't think he realizes that he doesn't have the win here. So he's going to keep searching for the other capital, probably. He's completely off the bottom cap as well. He just took it and kept going. I believe. Doesn't break the bonus in the center? Doesn't break the bonus in the center. Fine with that. We know he won't have a set here. He's completely off that cap. We just take the caps back. We leave stuff on them. I should have left that on Sebastopol. Uh, we don't open this up. We don't open the 52 up. We keep that trapped on the right-hand side. Uh, let's get 25 up here. And then the rest, I want full committal to this position here. Um, Fifteen, that should be fine. Let's get the slider on this. Forty-five. Lock that cap, but we sit there, so it guarantee us this bottom left bonus. That was the goal behind that play. We got him to bot out. Let's go, baby! This guy was so much bigger than me after I killed Red, and I snuffed him out, and he gave up. Let's go, man. That is... Sometimes it's not about card blocking. Sometimes it's entirely about gaining the speed advantage. Force the other player to roll caps. Capitalize off of it. That makes me feel delightful. Fortifies everything up to this capital. This cap is free down here. I have a free bonus down here. And I can just roll off that to get it. Um, I might as well smash as much material as I can then in that case we do break the bonus let's break up here as well I might as well I gotta take as many territories as I can that's another one perfect uh, and then we just come down in here since it came completely off cap and boom delightful and then our player facing capitals are our most important at this stage in the game. We don't have a set on three, but that's okay. The, the, the player is botted out. This is a locked up W. Locked up W, everybody. Sorry if I've been moving the map around too much. I've just been really in the zone this game. Really happy with how this one played out, especially with some precarious positions. And, mind you, one more important piece about this game that I hope you guys enjoyed. We held Sevastopol the entire game. No Sevastopol, no win. That is how the cookie will crumble in this one. Do have some troops fortified down there? So there's nothing on this cap here. Um, I want to. Well, actually, hang on. Yeah, I know what. I'm just gonna. We're just gonna sweep this out of here. I, I want to world down this one. I'm too proud of how this how this game played out. Uh. So let's do that and head up here. It's another bonus taken away down to 12 a turn. He actually I kept a bonus in the middle here. Yeah, it'll roll this cap. That's fine. I didn't have a set on three. I have a set on four. We'll be able to punish whatever happens there. But no Sevastopol, no win. We hold Sevastopol, which is delightful. We're going to lose that uh, North Africa capital. But I do not mind. We're just going to take the extra minute or two here to, to World Dom because I am happy with how this one played out. The bot lost 16 on that. That's a travesty. Um, but Wow. We, we fended off orange. We fended off orange. We fended off red. White and pink got destroyed by blue. 
totally okay with it. It is swimmingly okay. Swimmingly okay. Uh, it's just chipper. All right, let's see how much of the board I can take on this turn. Bot won't have a set on the next turn anyway. 78. We'll win this on the next turn for sure. Just because of how much of the board I have. I think this might be a bonus taker as well. So it'll just swing into Sevastopol and uh, and be sad about it. Now it'll, it'll keep attacking now. But it doesn't really matter much. Because of how much I just took. And by the way, uh, I read out the recent subscribers every uh, every video. I didn't have uh, anybody new on my list that had public subscriptions on. But if you want to be shouted out in an upcoming video, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel and make sure that you have public subscriptions on and you will get the recognition that you so deserve. It is one of my favorite things to do is give everybody that recognition. Uh, I lied about it finishing on the next turn, by the way. Um, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna try it. I'm gonna make magic happen, everybody. Doing it for the meme. Oh, that's bad. All right, we're gonna blitz. Six on five. Hang on. Is it doable? All right, there's one more taken out. Oh, it's not doable. All right, we have to make sure we hold Sevastopol, though. So I can't let it be no Sevastopol or, or Sevastopol for not one turn. No win uh, or, or whatever. Uh, but we'll win here. And uh, we've got a trade to boot just for fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I certainly did. This was a challenging game to try to come back and win. And, uh, and we were able to do it. So... Uh, I greatly appreciate everybody for stopping by the channel. The channel growth has been fantastic lately. Uh, and we'll clean up the game right here after this bot breaks me. We'll roll right off of that uh, Romania. No, not Romania. That is uh, Bulgaria capital. Take home the W with our incredibly large stack of troops. Hang on. I almost, I almost messed it up. There we go, everybody. The classic World Diamond victory. Sorry, it took an extra couple minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos just like this one every single day. Comment down below what you thought about it. Let's take a look at the ranks, and then we'll do the rest of the sign-off here. We have Expert on White. I think I might have said... Oh, you know what? I actually think I gave Blue credit for Expert. So, White is the Expert. Uh, beginners all around other than Blue is a novice. Uh, and, and the rest of the sign-off is, if you want to catch a video that YouTube recommends for you, right here above my head, the subscribe button is in the upper right-hand corner. As always, everybody, I have been C-Money. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. Peace!